Hey friends, if you wish to fix error with camera request device not found on your Windows computer, then please watch this video. I will guide you through the resolutions. So the first solution is to check for permissions. Right click on the start button and select settings from the menu. Go to the privacy and security tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, scroll down to app permissions and click on camera. And then you can scroll down and check uh, app applications which are using the camera app and whether they have the permission or not for example the camera app itself did not have the permission and i will have given it permission whatsapp has the permission and so on the next uh, solution is to update the browser so uh, this is only in case you're using uh, browsers for uh, accessing certain applications now let's say we have microsoft edge here so to update any chromium browser be it microsoft edge chrome or any other chromium based browser click on these three dots here select help and feedback and then click on about microsoft edge and it will start checking for updates and update it quickly the next solution is a disk cleanup and why a disk cleanup because there are a lot of redundant files and temporary files cache cookies and everything on your system which may cause this issue so we may not know where the problem is it is it with a certain application is it with the browser the best way to uh, sim uh, simply clear out all cache and cookies is to perform a disk cleanup so search for disk cleanup in the window search bar and open disk cleanup then check all the boxes here this one this one this one and click on ok and then click on delete files the last solution is a clean boot why because you may have an application that uses the camera but there may be many other applications which interfere with the process especially rival applications so in this case to isolate the cause try a clean boot search for system configuration in the window search bar and open system configuration go to the services tab check the box associated with hide all microsoft services if any of the services check click on disable all click on apply okay and then finally restart the computer was this helpful if yes then please subscribe to the channel and if not then let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could help you further thank you for watching this video and have a nice day